Azure Storage Explorer helps us to manage storage account, blobs and files on the storage and security. So this is software we have to install on our machine. So I just search Azure Storage Explorer on Google and this is the link to download this software. This tool is available on Windows, Mac OS, Linux. So as per your operating system, you just download it and install it. Since I have Windows, I have downloaded the Windows version and installed it. You remember we have created movies in this block storage account and inside that in the container, we uploaded sample data. Right. What we are going to do, we are going to connect our storage account using Storage Explorer. And I'm going to show you how to manage account and how to manage files, as well as we will also see a limited set of security. So once I open the software, by default, there is nothing to see here. So only a local uh, emulators we can see. Just click on this human icon on the left side. We have to add our account. I will choose add an Azure account. Click next. and enter your signing info. This is the same signing info you use to log in to Azure portal. So once user is authenticated, uh, you'll see here there's all available subscriptions. Let me choose the one which I'm using now. So pay as you go, and inside that we have this movies in list. Expand it, and this is the sample data. On the portal, as we are able to upload the files, this tool is even more rich, richer than the Azure portal. We can upload, download, move the files, copy the files, etc. I'm going to show you some of the features. Let me delete first the extra folder I have created. And I'm also going to delete the other containers. Okay. okay. So upload files. I'm going to choose the same file. Click on upload. It will ask me that this file is already ex exist. Do you want to replace or you want to skip it? So I'm going to skip it. I'm going to create a new folder. This folder is going to be a virtual folder. Sample data. 
if i don't upload any file in this folder and if i go back this folder will get disappeared because the folder is not actually created on the block storage empty folders are not permitted sample data click okay and then upload files upload So our file got uploaded. Go back. This folder now exists. There is other way where you can specify the hierarchy of folder. Uh, I should choose upload files, movies, oh parent one, parent two. Parent three, the same way how we saw on Azure portal. So there are three folders created. Inside that we have our file. The beauty of this Storage Explorer is we can copy folders and file, and we can paste it. as uh, if you see at the bottom the status is shown so whatever we are doing here on sorry explorer uh you will see the result at the bottom so what are the internal commands it is firing using edge head copy edge head copy is a command line tool uh, which helps us to transfer data very efficiently in the cloud so this folder got copied inside sample data moving to container uh, you can create blob containers using storage explorer as well so let's say i create another container we will verify it on our azure portal go back containers refresh this is the another container which i just created there are some limitations while creating container you cannot specify capital letter in the container name so it allows only lower case and numbers So let's say if I and 2020. So this 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 text will be allowed if I enter any additional special character that is that is also not allowed. However, while uploading the data, you can specify file name or folder name with any character. Let me show you that as well. Upload file, and I specify name manual twenty twenty. Then with special characters. Yeah. Upload. On manual 2020, and I have directed this special character. So this is permitted on the folder and file level, but not permitted on the container level. We can go uh, on the file or folder level. Just rightly can see the properties. All the properties which are visible on portal will be available here as well.
I'm going to show you now how to manage security. Now, before that, let me show you the other way to connect the Storage Explorer. So, I'm going to remove my account, which I added some time back. Remove, apply. Let's go back to portal. Click on access keys and I copy this connection string. I click on this pin icon. When I click the same dialog box, connect dialog box will open. I choose user connection string. Next, paste the connection string. You can provide any name here. So I'll leave movies in just as it is as of now. Click next, click connect. So my storage account got connected here and I'm, I'm able to do the same operation which I did some time back. We have sample data as well in the sample data container. Now let us see if I want to restrict only read access or only write access, only list access for certain users. How we can do that? So right click on container, click on manage access policies. Click add. I would say read only. So start time, end time. I want to keep it open till twenty twenty. Let's thirty past twelve twenty twenty. Yeah all the way till year end. And this is the list and read access I'll provide. Add, create, write and delete. I, will, I do not want to provide. Click on save. So my manage policy got created. Now I'm go, going to generate a signature, shared access signature. In this dialog box, I will choose Manage Access Policy, which we created. Once I select that, these other fields will be disabled because we have set those at the Manage Access Policy level. Click Create. So this is the URI I now see here on the screen. I'll copy in the clipboard and I'll leave it. So detach this account, yeah. click on the pin icon. Now I choose user shared access signature. Click next, paste here, next, next. Okay, uh, so now we saw sample data got created using SAS URL. Udemy data, I'll tell you what is that later on. Uh, that is a different container I had created uh, with the same access signature. That's why it is visible here. So this, if you notice, this is not an account. This is a container we have connected. And we do not see any movies in this account name anywhere. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to try deleting this file. Delete. 
and let us see if, if it allows us or not. So my delete operation got failed because I do not have write or permission to delete. Try to upload new file in new folder. This also got filled. So this is the way we manage our account blobs and security in the primary level. Apart from that, on the portal level, we can add users in access control section. You have to just click on add role assignment. Select a role. Let's say reader. Search by name and click on save. This will allow user to connect to your account and read the data from any container. 